Hi there everybody, I'm Steph Leader and I am another Young Living Distributor. Surprise, surprise. So, I really hope you've enjoyed this evening and what people have been sharing with in our well-oiled weekend. Um, tonight I'm just going to share with you what I do for my kids' bedtime routine. Um, and <clears throat> one of the reasons why I wanted to share this was because being a parent with two young girls, I've got a two-year-old and a four-year-old, um, the first thing that conversations always tend towards when I talk to other parents is um, bedtime routines and routines in general. Now routine in my household is very loosely, a very loose interpretation of the term and um, we don't have like a set time that everything happens but I do have a sequence that I like to do things in. And one of my main passions that has brought me to essential oils is getting um, the toxic chemicals out of particularly my kids lives but our lives in general and out of our home and I really want to share with people to help them do the same thing. Um, a lot of kids products for bath time and bedtime, um, brushing their teeth, all of that sort of stuff have a lot of like nasty chemicals that we really don't want to have on everybody. So they've got things like parabens and phthalates which um, have been shown to disrupt the endocrine system and the hormone balance and particularly having two little girls which who are going to go through puberty they're going to have enough of a imbalance and, and um, things to cope with with their hormone systems without other things causing issues to that. The other thing that a lot of the bath products particularly have in them is sodium lauryl sulfate but also um, toothpaste and things like that and for my girls in particular they do actually get quite um, a bit of a skin reaction from that and um, and it's just not great for the integrity of your skin at all and there's also a lot of um, a lot of the creams and bits and pieces that you that we do use on our kids have like a base like of petroleum jelly which is exactly what it sounds like it's a byproduct of making petrol so I don't particularly want to put that on my skin or my daughter's skin um, so when we look at all of these things we're spraying them around our houses um, we're plugging them in for artificial fragrances um, we're melting like wax um, candles and and things like that and they're all releasing things into the air so we're breathing them in we're bathing in them and they're settling on our skin we're absorbing them through our skin and we're also like eating them when we're brushing our teeth and things like that we're swallowing them as well so what I um, went around the house tonight as my husband and I were getting our kids ready for bed and I picked up the products that we use at bedtime that don't have any of these chemicals and things in them um, and thought I would talk to you about talk to you about them tonight so the first two oils that I'm going to talk to you about I reach for multiple times a day it's not just when my kids are going to bed um, and they both come in the, the premium starter kit the Young Living original premium starter kit um, we get a diffuser of your choice and then 11 oils so they both come in there you get a 5 ml of each and that is lavender and frankincense um, and as we just heard the lovely Sarah talk about lavender is like a Swiss army knife of oils you can use it for all sorts of things and frankincense is the king of oils and it's fabulous for so many both of them um, are very calming and very grounding and they're also both really really good for supporting the skin so tonight um, I used my third product when the kids got in the bath so after dinner we pop them in the bath and sometimes we have bath bombs homemade bath bombs ready to go and they each choose two or three little bath bombs and pop them into the bath but at the moment we don't have any of those left but I use the Kids Sense bath gel 
and that's why I showed you these two oils first because what I do is I put um, about a teaspoon of the bath gel into like a shot glass or something like that and then I put um, three or four drops of oil and tonight I use lavender and frankincense um, and this doesn't have a desodium lauded sulfate so you're not going to get that really thick foam type of bubbles that you get with um, with bath um, bubble baths and things like that that are based on that product <clears throat> but you're also not going to get the skin irritation <clears throat> sorry um, either so I find that you do get enough bubbles for the kids to have a play with them for a while and then by the time they're sort of bored with playing with bubbles that kind of gone anyway so I use that and tonight I use the frankincense and lavender partly because they're both nice and calming and grounding but also because my two-year-old is just getting her first two-year molar and she is one of those babies that um, as soon as she starts to get a new tooth she starts to get a sore bottom and so I've used both of these tonight to try and support her skin um, frankincense also I actually the first time I reach for this every morning is when I'm waking up at about 10 to 5 before everybody else wakes up and I put just a drop of the palm in my hand rub it around take a couple of deep breaths and then I've just pat it around my neck and on my skin because it's great for supporting the skin um, and also I can still smell it then and then I do about a 10 minute 10 or 15 minute um, meditation just to ground my thoughts and my mind and get ready for the day so that's what I use my frankincense for first thing in the morning so once they come out of the bath and there's a couple of different things that we do I didn't bring it in with me tonight because I didn't use it tonight but um, they have the the kids sense range also has a lotion and it's a really nice thick it's quite a thick moisturizer but it's it's absorbed in nicely and it's not greasy or oily um, but what they did use tonight was some of my homemade sort of what we call baby balm and it is coconut oil this um, about 15 I think this is a 50 gram container I just fill it up with coconut oil just the cooking one like the solid kind of one um, it's liquid at the moment because it's still really warm here and then it's got lavender and frankincense and then this one has lemon in it as well which is my next oil this also comes in the premium starter kit um, and this is a baby balm that I used when I didn't want to use when she was younger and I didn't want to use um, eucalyptus oil or peppermint oils on her and I would use it when she had like the sniffles or whatever on her chest and her back and now we still use it when they want a little bit of a back rub or a foot rub um, I'll still use it on her chest and her back when she's sick um, but I will use the, the other one here um, which has peppermint RC which is mostly which I'm going to talk about in a little minute but it's mostly eucalyptus um, <clears throat> and lemon and I have this winter put this on her feet but until this winter I didn't use it on her at all and I'll use it on my four-year-old's back as well now yeah. so that brings me to the RC so tonight in their diffuser I have lavender RC and lemon and RC is really really good for um, coughs colds, sniffles in this time of year when everybody seems to have that end of winter bunks going on so um, RC is three different eucalyptus strains and then it's also got myrtle peppermint cypress pine all those sorts of good oils in it um, so I do use it in that chest rub as I mentioned before but I also put it in the diffuser and it helps to sort of clear everybody's gunk out so that's what we've got in the diffuser tonight um, often it'll be like maybe lavender and 
then I might let them choose another oil and you'll see which oil they generally gravitate towards or my four-year-old does anyway my two-year-old will always pick lavender her favorite oil is lavender but my um, four-year-old's favorite oil is coming up and we quite often use it at night time as well we just haven't used it tonight so once they have done any any little massages or anything that they want with the lotions or the rubs then particularly for my two-year-old at the moment I use the seedlings diaper rash cream because it's very American um, but it's a nappy rash cream and it's a very thick let's put a little bit on my hand here it's a very thick barrier type cream like your traditional kind of zinc barrier type cream it's very thick um, it has zinc oxide in it but it has the coconut oil as the oily I guess base um, rather than like a petroleum based type thing it also has a lot of things like cocoa butter a lot of really nourishing botanical oils as well as lavender essential oil um, you might over the weekend hear a couple of the ladies talking about a couple of surprising uses for this for this product and I won't ruin that for them for anybody who doesn't know about those but what I do use this for is I use it when we've got um, any nappy rashes but I also put it on uh, my kids so during the day if I've got a scratch or a graze or something like that we'll quite often um, spray it with some of the Young Living Lavadum spray which is just very cooling and just helps to clean it clean it out and things like that um, and then when we get home and they've had their bath for the night I'll pop some of this on it and it just gives it a bit of a barrier and it's got all those really lovely nourishing botanical oils in there as well as the zinc oxide so then once they're all in their pajamas and all ready to go we um, brush their teeth and we use the Kids Sense Sleek Toothpaste which also has the Thieves blend in it, very low concentration of the Thieves blend. Um, so this doesn't have any fluoride in it. So wherever, whichever side of the fluoride, fluoride fence you come down on, this doesn't have that in there, which is important to know for people. Um, I like that it doesn't have it in there. And I just took both of my girls to the dentist last week. And they've both got they both use this twice a day and they both have beautiful clean um, strong teeth so that's always good and one little story about that my um, four-year-old it's the second time that they've offered her the little princess polish for her teeth and today that day she I the dentist had already asked me if I was happy with them doing it and I said yes and then she when she mentioned it to my daughter after they'd checked them all um, she said, oh, no, thank you, not today. And the dentist looked at me a wee bit funny, and I was like, oh, why, why do you not want them to do it? And she said, well, because I didn't really like what you put on my teeth last time. It tasted a bit too minty. It was just a bit too hot. Um, she goes, I really like my orange toothpaste that I have at home. So that's a good one for these. In the end, they settled on, like, a strawberry-flavoured one because they didn't have an orange-flavoured polish. Um, so they settled on a strawberry flavoured one and then she came home and brushed her teeth with this when we got home. Um, so the last oil that I was going to talk about tonight is just one that we often put um, in the diffusers for the kids and is often in the bath because it's what my four year old will choose if I ask her what oil she wants and that is orange oil. Um, now it doesn't come in the premium starter kit but it is a relatively inexpensive oil. And also, there's actually a 15ml orange oil up for grabs in one of the um, one of the games I noticed. So make sure you enter in for that one because orange oil, as a few people have already said, makes you happy. And um, 
and it definitely does for my four-year-old so she has like a little roller bottle that I've diluted to put about 20 drops of orange in it and then filled it up with carrier oil and she takes that everywhere with her she takes it to her dance concerts when she has to stay out the back um, with the other big girls um, and I go around the front to watch she um, takes her orange oil so that she can just have a wee sniff if she wants to or roll a little bit on her wrists or something it just makes her smile refocuses her just that little bit and um, yeah so she quite often has that for bed yes Felicity that in the orange is really nice it smells like you've just cut into a fresh orange um, so the other thing I wanted to talk the last thing that I really wanted to talk about was um, diffusers so um, I I love having the kids have their own diffusers in their room um, and I do have the kid I have both of the kids diffusers that Young Living have <clears throat> and the reason why I really like the kids diffusers is because you can put it onto an it intermittent um, phase and you can uh, it will turn on and diffuse for 10 minutes and then it will turn off for 10 minutes and it makes it last a really long time it lasts like about 9 or 10 hours so it pretty much lasts the whole time they're asleep um, and they also don't get overwhelmed with like too much oils because they get that bit of a break in between so this is the first one we got both my girls got these for their birthdays for different birthdays and they both really like them so my four year old has this one which is the dolphin diffuser um, and the the uh, mist comes out of the little coral tubey things up the top here and it has they both have um, LED lights inside so you can either cycle it through it that three or four different colors or you can um, stop it on a color that they like or you can turn it off and you can just have some lights set of gentle lights coming out through, around the bottom as well and it works really well as a night like this one the whole thing sort of glows a little bit so you just get that bit of a gentle glow around the room so this one's really good and if you don't put them onto the timer uh, uh, sorry the um, intermittent phase and they stop after about four hours they run out of water and they'll turn off but the light stays on on these ones so the kids don't lose their night light if that's what they really like so that one's really good and then this one is what my two-year-old has and both of them really love dinosaurs um, so my four-year-old was a little bit disappointed when her sister got this one but it's actually worked out really well because the other one is a little bit better for a night light this one because it's so dark I think it doesn't really have the glow all through it there's just really the light comes out the top and so does the mist and then there's the lights coming around the bottom which works out really well because my four-year-old really likes to have a night light and my two-year-old isn't so keen on it she she could take it or leave it um, so that's the two kids diffusers Yes, Felicity, it is. And if you get the um, the premium starter kit, you can now choose to get the Desert Mist diffuser, and that which I believe has the same intermittent feature on it, which is really good because it would be really nice to have that even just in my lounge room and things. And I really want the Desert Mist one. I haven't bought it yet, um, but. It would be really nice to have like in my living areas and stuff like that that I could put it on in the morning and it would still be going by the, by the afternoon. Um, so that's really all I wanted to talk about. So as I was um, saying at the start, these four oils, the ones that I use very regularly, so the lavender, the frankincense, the lemon and the RC all come in the premium starter kit and so does a diffuser of your choice I, you can't get the kids diffusers in there but um one of any of the other diffusers you can um so those four all come in the premium starter kit and then we've got the kids sense ranges here so i always use the bath gel and the toothpaste and then we've also got the lotion as well which is really nice and then I use the 
baby wipes, the um, Seedlings baby wipes, and then I use this as well from the Seedlings range. But if my if this had come to Australia while my baby was younger, I probably would have used a lot more because I made a lot of like baby washes and bits and pieces um, at home using my oils. And then the last one is just the orange, which my yes, the RC is great. We've got it going tonight as well because we've all got that like end of winter sniffly snuffly grossness going on. Um, so I really hope that this has been useful for people and um, I hope that people have found maybe a way that they could get started with their kids just with getting um, the premium starter kit and then a few other little bits and pieces for maybe your second order. So good night everybody. I think I'm the last one up tonight for any live um, casts but in the morning I believe at about seven o'clock someone's going to show us how to make some bulletproof coffee so I'm going to be looking at that <laughs> so I'll see you all later over the weekend and um, take care thank you